Hi, greetings everybody once again uh, from Macau. Well, today uh, I've decided to visit uh, an interesting historic UNESCO site, uh, the ruins of uh, St. Paul. So um, let's uh, let's go. So I'm uh, walking down this alley. Very crowded here. Uh, maybe because it's a Sunday as well. And uh, I think the ruins are on my right. And uh, yes, okay. Behold, very, very beautiful. Now, check that out. There you go. It's, uh, oh, it's. Can you imagine its splendor? It's uh, Hades. Look at that. Wow. Very nice. And, um, very crowded as well. Well, behold. This church was built in uh, 1602, completed in uh, 1640. And uh, it was a fire, it destroyed it in 1835. And uh, what I can say is, uh, it just shows what the Portuguese built here. 472 years of Portuguese colonial rule, and uh, shows for itself. <laughs> Heading to the entrance. There we are. And in here we have. The cultural center. And right here they have uh, the preserved. Ruins, the actual preserved ruins. Wow. These are the actual ruins. So, uh, in 1995, the uh, Macau administration decided to restore at least what was left of the uh, church. And you can see that this was. Uh, a chapel apparently, chapel of uh, St. Francis Xavier and what's left of it. You can see the foundation. Interesting. So this is the sacred art museum and the crypt. And I'm walking in and you can see that the remains of the church still very well preserved. The stairs taking me to the crypt. This crypt has been around since the 1600s and it says here we're about to enter a secret place, please remain silent. So I'm just going to keep quiet, not talk much and just uh, see what's inside. Okay, so I can't film, I'm turning off the uh, camera. So just out of the crypt. And uh, wow, a lot of people interned there. And I'm heading to the Museum of Sacred Art. Okay. And uh, wow, this is uh, artifacts left by the Portuguese more than 400 years ago. You've got to be here to actually see the beauty of these artifacts amazing simply amazing All right here we have a statue of what's in St. Augustine 
paintings more artifacts then look at those paintings really amazing all right so I'm out of the uh, ruins of St. Paul and uh, if you look at it it's really east meets west kind of uh, atmosphere look at that So uh, from here I'm heading to the east of the cathedral to uh, Fortaleza di Monte. Well, apparently uh, this was a fort that was built in uh, 1617 uh, by the Portuguese in defense uh, of Macau. So uh, going up this pathway and uh, let's see. Okay, they have a statue here and uh, well it reads Padre Matthew Matteo Ricci, 1552 to 1610. Okay. okay, going up the fort, steps again. Time for me to stop filming for a while. Seen anyone, it's maybe. Yep, up the stairs. And you know what? <sighs> More stairs. Oh man. <sighs> Why don't they have elevators in forts like this? <laughs> okay, finally up the stairs. And up. The cannon welcomes us. Right, there we are. We are the vicinity of the fort. Well, this fort looks uh, much bigger than the fort I visited yesterday, the Fortaleza de Guia, which had a lighthouse. I think this is a much bigger fort. There you go. That's the seal of the Portuguese. Wow. Entrance of the fort. I just read the footnote there and uh, it says that this was the principal fort during the Dutch administration which explains why it's huge apparently this was the fort that uh, prevented the uh, Dutch attack of the Macau colony in 1622 wow this fort is huge and they've built a museum yeah oh this is a this is a big big fort this is huge massive 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 look at that well the notes uh, at the entrance says that this was a uh, fort which had its own garrison soldiers the governors residents military personnel that explains the size look at the size of this fort it's one end to another end and i'm looking at what uh, approximately 100 meters there and uh, by another maybe 100 10 150 meters i don't know but it's massive 
and uh, from here I have a beautiful view of Macau city below and I can see the ruins of the cathedral as well I think I should have come here a little bit in the evening where the weather is much more cooler I think it's a very nice place to chill out That's Grand Lisboa, landmark in Macau, the tower, the waterfront, and uh, this fort. It's huge. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Intramuros in uh, Old Manila. But uh, Intramuros is, of course, maybe 20 times or 10 times the size of this place. I'm not saying this is big enough, but. Intramuros is much bigger, but nevertheless, this is one of the bigger forts I've visited, built by the Portuguese. Basically, you can see the whole of Macau city from this fort. And I think that's the advantage the uh, Portuguese had over the Dutch. Uh, they managed to repel the attack in 1622. I think that was the major advantage. And from here, I can see that the lighthouse I went to yesterday, uh, Porta de Goya. So uh, that seems to be slightly higher, but uh, what I mean is, wow, it's, uh, it's wonderful to be here. The Grand Lisboa. Uh -huh. I mean, to think about it, I think... Uh, the tourists and uh, locals alike, foreign workers, I think, to be come here to have a afternoon walk. And uh, I'm going to check out the museum. And uh, no filming allowed once again, so I'm going to turn off the camera and I'll let you know how it went. All right, I am uh, just done with the. Uh, museum and uh, very insightful Museo di Macau as it reads uh, cultural and uh, historical museum enjoy it myself and uh, let's uh, continue <sighs> right, I think I'm gonna grab myself a coffee. Well, uh, here I am having uh, my coffee in a coffee house in a Chinese blue porcelain cup. <laughs> Enjoyed myself and I uh, hope you guys had some insight as well. And uh, till we meet in our next adventures, take care and stay safe. Bye bye.